A crime gang on the run, crashing into a police officer in their frantic escape. Balloons to celebrate the new year now dumping deadly packages into backyards. A pilot pinned beneath the wreckage of his flipped plane. Breaking news on a Queensland rugby league star charged over a wild street brawl. And the Aussie all-rounder named to make his test debut. This is Nine News Queensland. Good evening. A police officer has been hospitalised after being rammed between two cars during an armed robbery on the Sunshine Coast. His leg crushed as the thieves fled the scene. Zara, have police made any arrests yet? No arrests yet, Darren. Right now, police are hunting for the two white Isuzu youths that were used to hit the police officer. Also, the four men believed to be behind this attack. They're putting all resources possible into this. Thankfully, Sergeant Scott is now at home recovering and his colleagues say he's doing remarkably well given the circumstances. Thanks for the update there, Zara. Let's go live now to Brittany Klein at Springfield. And Brittany, dangerous batteries have been scattered across Ipswich backyards. How did this happen? Well, Darren, these batteries are actually from hundreds of LED balloons released here from this park as part of New Year's Eve celebrations. They went skyward, but now the remnants are turning up in backyards right across the western suburbs. Council has accepted an apology from the event organisers over what is now a major health risk, and tonight they want every family in the area to check their backyards. Gary Youngbury is here with us now. And Gary, you're tracking a few storms. Whereabouts are they hitting? Well, Darren, quite a large line of thunderstorms started early this afternoon. They became visible on the radar from about 1 o'clock this afternoon, and they're quite slow moving. So with these severe thunderstorms, while there is a bit of lightning, we're not expecting any hail. It's more about flash flooding. We've had rainfall figures already of more than 50 millimetres in 30 minutes. It includes the scenic rim, the southern downs, the Gold Coast Council areas, Toowoomba, and also the Lockyer Valley. So they're travelling in a northeasterly direction direction as they cl close in on Brisbane. I'll have more details in our full weather wrap. Not too far away, Darren. Thanks, Gary. A couple of anxious hours, I think, for those residents. Well, let's cross now to Nicole Rolls, who's at Surfers Paradise, where it didn't quite hit 30 degrees today, but Nicole, it certainly felt much, much hotter. It sure did and look uh, we are fortunately going to get some relief though very shortly. Uh, we're starting to feel the effects of those storms already just a few drops of rain here on the coastline at Surfers Paradise and the hinterland is already copping those storms which are heading towards Brisbane at the moment and a southerly change is expected to come through this evening as well which will cool down temperatures quite a lot which is great news especially for surf lifesavers who've been kept incredibly busy the last few days with temperatures soaring. A woman has been hit and killed by a car on the Bruce Highway at Caboolture. The 30-year-old from Townsville was travelling with a man when they ran out of petrol around 4am, taking a taxi to fill up a fuel can. Not long after, she was dropped off on the opposite side of the road. She was hit crossing the lanes. Lanes were closed for a number of hours. The tragedy is the fourth death on Queensland roads in the past 10 days. The official holiday period will end tomorrow night and the early results are far from impressive. With 648 drink drivers already picked up and 312 more caught under the influence of drugs, more than 25,000 people have been caught speeding. Buckingham Palace is trying to quell fears about the Queen's health after she failed to attend another of her traditional engagements. Her Majesty is recovering from a heavy cold as her daughter Princess Anne insists she is on the mend. Andrew Lund is outside Buckingham Palace for us today and Andrew, when is the Queen due back there? Thank you very much Andrew. Plummeting to the ground and erupting into flames. It's next, a deadly mid-air crash. Friends fighting for life as the party continues in Gold Coast hinterland where an unknown drug killed their mate. Exclusive with the Queensland troops training to save lives on the battlefield. Dishing up food trends for 2017, what you need to know for your New Year's diet. Brisbane's 2017 mega store invasion. Fashion, groceries, homewares, sports gear. The new international players about to shake up shopping forever. Incredible ranges, rock bottom prices. More variety and better savings for us. A current affair next. The final Qantas passengers who were stranded in Dubai since Thursday due to a plane malfunction finally flew home this afternoon. The group uh, eventually flew back on board the original A380 aircraft after it was fixed. Two young men are seriously ill a day after taking a mystery drug that killed their friends. 
uh, still, sorry, killed their one friend at a rave party west of Gold Coast. Incredibly, organisers decided not to cancel the event, with hundreds of music fans continuing on with celebrations overnight, just metres from where the men collapsed. Three people have been killed in a mid-air plane crash in Texas. The two light aircraft were flying low to the ground when they collided. One plane crashing into a nearby storage facility and the other nose diving onto a main road. It is unclear what led to the collision, but the pilots were not in contact with air traffic control at the time of the accident. Hundreds of flights have been cancelled and highways shut as heavy smog set in over northern China. 24 cities have issued red alerts which limits car usage and restricts factories. This smog follows hazardous conditions last month which resulted in authorities ordering hundreds of factories to shut down. It's a new year and that means new resolutions to get healthy. Coming up soon, the diets of 2017. Health experts weigh in on what foods are tipped to take off after the Christmas splurge. Appalling behaviour. A partial blind man is attacked and robbed. You'll see the exclusive video next. Poor timing for Queensland rail workers on track for a huge pay deal as their bosses battle to fix the major train disruptions. And we'll take you behind the scenes of the Brisbane Hospital offering the best simulated training in the world, how our troops and medical experts are saving lives. Plus why President-elect Trump says we just shouldn't use computers. Shopper Dock of Discounts. Why you no longer need your supermarket receipt to get the best price in the bazaar. A current affair next. It's been a heartbreaking start to the year for two young families following separate accidents that claim the life of a young girl and has a two-year-old boy in intensive care. The two-year-old was pulled unconscious from a backyard pool. Just hours later, the boy was found in a pond at a different home. There's been more than one dozen drowning deaths since Christmas Day in New South Wales. As more of our soldiers prepare to head to Iraq, we've been given an insight into the training the medics are undergoing in case something goes wrong. It's pioneering technology that both military and civilian trauma specialists are using to make their diagnosis and treatment correct under pressure. Is your car an accident waiting to happen? Next, experts reveal the models you should steer clear of. It was sabotage. Mariah Carey lashes out over her disastrous New Year performance. Paleo is out and grains are in. We'll tell you the diet's tip to take off this year. Plus, hunting the Tinseltown Vandal wanted for this new take on the iconic Hollywood sign. From zoos to water parks, keep the kids entertained for less. The best holiday deals in your local area, tomorrow on Today. Mariah Carey has used social media to shrug off her disastrous New Year's Eve performance in New York. The superstar posted this video with the words, here's to making more headlines in 2017, following her failed lip sync attempt in Times Square. She's blamed a technical issue with her earpiece and has reportedly accused the TV production company of sabotaging her show for ratings. California can be a strange place. Just look at what some pranksters have done to the Hollywood sign in Los Angeles. Marijuana is being legalised in the state and for the moment the message is high enough for everyone to see. Still ahead, two changes to the Aussie side for tomorrow's third test. We sit down with the skipper Steve Smith next. Plus, Rafael, Rafael Nadal gets up close and personal with the locals in Brisbane. After a run of hot and humid days, relief is on the way. The thunderstorms are back in your forecast. I'll have the latest shortly. Australia has made two changes ahead of tomorrow's third test against Pakistan in Sydney. All-rounder Hilton Cartwright will make his debut at number six, while spinner Steve O'Keefe replaces Jackson Bird. The bad boy of Australian tennis is back in the good books after making a brilliant start to the Hotman Cup. Next up for the Aussies, they've got the Czech Republic tomorrow night. Chance to bounce back. Oh, yeah. I'm excited too for the cricket tomorrow, live and free on Channel 9. So a lot of people out there waiting to watch that one. <laughs> Thanks very much, Tom. Just ahead, food fads falling out of flavour. What diets will dominate 2017? And Gary has the weather for us. And Gary, are those storms still tracking our way? They certainly are, but they're quite slow moving. So they're starting to uh, head towards the western suburbs, but a little later this evening for the city. It's still 28 degrees in Ipswich. We'll have the latest radar next.
Checking the petrol prices for you now. The average price for unleaded petrol in Brisbane is $1.30.6, $1.30.3 on the Gold Coast. And Gary's back for another check of the weather. And Gary, we're finally going to get some relief from that heat and humidity. It'll be a welcome southerly change as temperatures head back to the high 20s for tomorrow. But ahead of that change, we're seeing a line of thunderstorms. Let's get straight into our radar and check some of these severe thunderstorm warnings. The large line of storms started earlier this afternoon from the scenic rim, the southern downs. Now it includes uh, the Logan, the Gold Coast Council areas, Toowoomba. And these are moving quite slowly. So the main threat is that possibility of flash flooding. We've seen falls of 50 millimetres plus in a 30 minute period but still a couple of hours away before they start to move into the city because they are very slow moving. Temperatures today 35 degrees in Ipswich. The main feature is the overnight temperatures. About 5 degrees above average. 25 in Ipswich, the low, Logan, Redlands, 26 Bayside, 26 degrees also the low in the city, 26 for Redcliffe as well. But 33 the top in Caboolture today. It was certainly a humid day. Main feature over the next 24 hours, a variety of troughs. Very unstable over the tropics and over Queensland. We're going to see quite a bit of rain this week over Queensland, particularly over the far north, the interior, the central and Capricornia coast. Some quite heavy falls of a few hundred millimetres likely by the end of this week. This is the main region sort of north of the Whit Sundays, still from the Whit Sundays to the Capricornia coast, 100 millimetres plus, while the southeastern corner we could see 50 millimetres throughout this week, and that will start from tomorrow morning. 39 in Perth tomorrow, 29 in Adelaide. Some early drizzle in Melbourne. Late showers in Hobart, a few showers for the third test. As early as late morning, they will start to develop at widespread thunderstorms over the tropics. So back into Queensland, showers and thunderstorms with heavy falls over the north, down through the central Capricornia coast, the central west, extending over much of the state. And the heaviest falls will be over the far north over the coming day. So locally, slightly cooler tomorrow, welcoming temperatures back into the 20s, the high 20s for most of the southeast, to warmer 24 degrees with a chance of thunderstorms on the water. Southeasterly winds reaching 25 knots, so the seas to 2 metres. 27 degrees in the city tomorrow, the overnight low 23. A few showers again Wednesday. Look, we, we could see up to 10 millimetres Wednesday becoming lighter towards the end of the week. Heaviest falls will be on the coast for tomorrow, Darren. Right, thank you very much, Gary. And that's our news for tonight. You can stand by now for Layla McKinnon with The Current Affair. Thanks for watching. Good night.